Rob McBride, um, fourth generation wool grower from the Western Division of New South Wales. Uh, I also am a director in AJ and PA McBride, which run 12 properties in South Australia. Um, I bought Talano Station in 1996. Before then, I did economics and accounting at Adelaide University, working in the banking and finance sector both here and in London but prior to that. Um, I've gone through about 14 years of drought in the Western Division. Uh, we got through it, it was hard work, and I guess I respect the hardships and challenges that a lot of you have faced. I'm not here to fritter away your money, I'm here to invest in the future. Without doubt, one of the most contentious issues facing our wool industry at the moment is the mulesing debate. At this point in time, there is no suitable alternative, and I'm not going to make promises. It's important that we have a board that substantiates that. In the Western Division of New South Wales, where we're situated, we see our sheep on three occasions. Shearing, crutching and lamb marking. So for the other 362 days a year, they're on their own. And if we don't move our sheep, they die. It's as simple as that. Therefore, uh, when I was overseas recently in China, the issue was raised with me. And as a wool grower, we have a distinct advantage of looking people in the eye and saying, look, we do it because there is no alternative. We're not making promises. We need this in our industry today. We use the pain relief that we have available. We make it as suitable as we can for the animal. We will find alternatives. We are, as an industry, investing the money. When that time comes, we'll find alternatives. But for today, this is what faces our industry, and this is what we've got to promise to the public. On a marketing front, I know a lot of you are concerned about where the resources are channeled. I guess over 50% of our wool clip is 19.5 micron and broader. And I'm a wool producer in that range of about 21 micron. I guess I'd like to see a few more marketing dollars gone into the mid-micron range, something into woolen jumpers and woolen jeans, rather than just the catwalks. The thing is, we've tempered, we understand and respect the catwalk, but effectively, mid-micron range, we need to invest in our future too. So I, as a representative, would be looking to channel more of your funds into the mid-micron research, development, and sales of products, apparel, around the world, which effectively, I would hope, would result in better prices that you receive. Young people are the key to our industry. If we don't start bringing them in now, when we become old men, there won't be a situation for us to be proud of. We can overcome this now by doing work and start scholarships at high schools and universities so that we nurture the facility of young people to join our industry that agriculture is the degree of choice. If we can do that, we've got a wonderful, vibrant industry to be very, very proud of in the future. The minds that we need in science and technology and to progress our industry will be there. Secondly, there'll be people like me to ride this motorbike. And the fact is, we need that in the next generation. One of the key issues, without a doubt, is the future of our industry is shed hands and shearers. AWI has addressed this issue to some degree in the short term, but we really are not getting the results. 1,300 went through shearing schools in Australia last year, and of that, about 25% remained. We've got to push that figure up. We've got young people. It's a vibrant life. We've got to get young people into our industry. And through AWI scholarships and recognition through the press, we really need young people to come back into our industry and say it's a lifestyle decision and it's a good quality job for life. industry to have consultants outside and to get as much expertise as it can, it is equally important from my perspective to have wool growers on the board. We've got a lifetime of investment in the board and a lifetime investment in agriculture. I've gone a long way to work on boards and to work at all levels of our industry, from crutching sheep upwards. I know it back to front and I'd like to represent you to get your input and to get your feedback to make sure we have the leaders of your industry from your base. Firstly, thank you very much for making the time available to have a, a look at the video. I guess it gives you an insight into who Robert McBride is and where I see the industry now and in the future. Um, elections coming in November and it really is up to you to make cast your vote because it's your industry and it's your board. And effectively, there's a lot of issues facing our industry in the ensuing next two or three years. And I think there's some pretty hard decisions to be made. 
But when the hard decisions need to be looked at, I really believe um, I'm in it for the long haul. We wool growers don't do it as a short-term occupation. We do it through choice of a lifestyle and making sure that our kids are looked after into the future. Again, thank you very much for your time today and hope the season goes well. Bye.